Okay, looking back to uh, looking back to last week against MK Dons, give me an idea of the, of the, of the feeling post match. Was it frustrating to have most of the possession, most of the attack, and not get the three points? Uh, it was pride in the performance because we were outstanding, but it was a little bit of frustration that um, we didn't go on and win the game, which we deserved to do. And, uh, and me speaking to the players after him, you know, and, and saying to them if they really believed in what we're doing, they can go and win a lot of games. Uh, George Williams has said said um, after the MK Dons game um, on your on your Twitter that if this team can get a win, it sort of feels like they could potentially go on a bit of a roll. Is that how you feel? Yeah, I'm sort of focusing on on as many good performances as we, as we can really, and if we keep performing like that, then it's only a matter of time before we we pick up a series of wins. What is what is if there's if there is one biggest issue for why for why those those three pointers aren't coming at the moment? What what do you think it might be? I'm not too. I'm not too. Um, what's the word? I'm not too like thinking about it. It's, it could easily be losses, you know. But we're we're talking about being unbeaten. I'd rather talk us about about us being unbeaten in eleven games. And we could always say what if, what if. But those eleven points that we've got from, or some of the points that we've got from draws later on this season, could be really important to us. We know there's a few mistakes in there that have. That have killed us, but we could always say we haven't scored enough goals. So I'm quite relaxed about it. Uh, this may this may sound like a, like it will be an obvious answer, but we just need it because it's for audio. Uh, Fabian Robert's gone out for uh, for a month on loan to Gloucester City. Can you just tell us the reasoning behind that? Uh, Fab's not featured for for quite a while now. He's um, it is what it is. He needs to go and play some football and and uh, see if he can get himself some of this sort for next year. Can you give me uh, an idea through training this week? Are there any additional um, knocks or injury injury worries for, for the weekend? Anyone who's in doubt? Not at the moment, no. Perfect, thank you. Mark Crawley, what threats will they bring to your team? Uh, power, um, size, aggression, organisation. So uh, they've got some they've got some experienced players in there. They've got some raw talent um, players that are can create something out of nothing. So it's one way. Like every every game, we we fully respect and we analyse the opposition's strengths, and uh, and we make the players aware of that. We show them, we work on that, and then we we fo we focus fully on our strengths. And if we play well, we have a chance to win the game. And will you be wary of the the new manager Banks? They've got this new colourful Italian. Yeah, I'm looking forward to to meeting him. And obviously, he got off to a good start last week and uh, ran onto the pitch. I love that passion. I'm, Surprise! I'm, I think he would have got done by the FA for that. That's crazy, isn't it? You know. Um, but no, listen. He'll bring for one. For one thing's for certain: with the Italian, the way they coach, the organisation will be key, and uh, they'll be difficult not to crack. Yeah, just one more for me. I know you don't look at the league tables, but if you cast mine back to Wickham last season, they were in a similar position to you. They got promoted. Yeah, I think we've been like like I've, I've said previously. We've been really close to, to winning we could easily have 20 points um, but we haven't uh, we've got what we've got and we need to keep focusing game by game and, and if we do that we'll we'll get more points than we lose Cheers Mark we've seen a lot particularly the attacking players have sort of come off the bench and had a really good impact just like Willow did at the weekend yeah. but do you feel like is it fair to say a lot of them have maybe not quite had the same impact when they've started Possibly, but they could probably turn around and say they've not had enough opportunities. But it's my job to try and manage that and make sure I'm, I'm picking the right team. And I can only go on what I see during the week in training and, and, and the games. And um, but what I do know is there's probably 15, 16 players, outfield players at the moment that could all play. And, um, and what that does, the boys that are not in the team at the minute, that puts pressure on the ones that are, and they, the ones that are in the team, now they've got a hell of a battle to, to hold their shirt, and that's how you get good competition. So it's important that the boys that come off the bench continue to affect the game. There's nothing worse for a manager when you make a sub and it just doesn't affect the game at all. And they are as important as the boys that start the game. You know, you hear, you hear Eddie Jones talk about the guys that come on and the finishers, and it's really true when you think about it. They come on and they finish the game. Last week Willow came on, got us the penalty, which enabled us to get a point, and uh, we probably deserve more, but enabled us to get a point. Cheers, Mark. Thank you. Thank you.